Oh lord. I have a paintbrush. What? Let me throw the paintbrush. No, don't. As hard as you can. Throw it. Throw it. As hard as you can. Uh -huh. Place my shotgun glove with it. Haha! -ha, look at me. I am Mr. Von Go. <laughs> Here, have an ear. Ha ha ha! Ew. Oh God, it's still warm. I don't know what's worse, if it's warm or cold. I'm gonna stop thinking about the ear now. Okay, you said you did war paint on the bur- oh. I see. It didn't go well. <laughs> Actually, get on the bird and, like, fly, though. I want to see what it looks like under the wing and how badly that went. So, very. An attempt was made. Honestly, it just kind of looks like uh, she got hit, like, right in the armpit. With a paint balloon is just kind of what it looks like. Kind of. Yeah. Paint balloons are dangerous. Mm. And on this note, while you guys get settled in, I'm going to go make tea, which I should have done earlier. But. But just don't worry about it. But shit talking arc. <laughs> Just trying to paint my bird with war paint, okay? I mean, an attempt was made. Oh, Jesus! This isn't too bad of a interface. Oh god, you can color over their eyes and make them look like they're ghosts. You can, it's haunting. It's like, oh good, now Fluffums has cataracts, how wonderful. <laughs> Oh, I see you. Really? There we go. Oh god. It actually applied the paint. There should be a function in there to undo paint as well. It's a little wonky. There is, but I I thought that you had to actually hit the apply paint button to commit the change, and then I walked away. And now Fluffums is permanently scarred with cataracts. That is a remarkably durable copy. Well, I'm done wasting ammo on copies. Oh, okay, so you can delete your stuff. What the it's hell? interesting that you've got color regen, so that means that you could probably... I never played around with the regents button, I'm afraid of what it would do. It probably just changes like the wing tip color and the feet color and stuff like that. I just remembered, I have an animal that I don't necessarily care about cosmetic-wise. We can use jet ski! We can experiment on jet ski, it'll be fun. OK, 
Okay, yeah, this is a really super wonky game. <laughs> it's, it's not the greatest, but it exists. The wonk is, yeah, the wonk is strong with this one. Because you do have the option to no, to erase. I am now sufficiently prepared. A. Also, they changed my key bindings on me again. Mm, that's annoying. <laughs> F wasn't assigned to the access button. Or access animal inventory button. Who stole that's my paintbrush? God damn it. Because that's the base setting. It, it wasn't there for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Are you ready to go live? Countdown to 1 minute and 30 seconds. I am. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go live. Greetings, one and all, and welcome to today's uh, art lesson where painting happy little Archies up here on the roof of the compound. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> that works. I like Bob Ross, okay? I like him too. I also like Greetings, one and all, and welcome to today's legend. Uh, and Fluffin is really angry at me. Archies up here on the roof. <laughs> I should probably stop. For general purposes, birds do get very angry when you try to paint them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just a sentence I didn't think I'd hear today. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd hear that, but you know what? I'm glad I did. I'm really glad when you swing the Brontosaurus's tail that it doesn't take out your own buildings. That is a really good thing. I uh, guess friendly tail fire is not a thing. Yeah. Where are we putting the paintbrush? Uh, I was storing them in the dye cabinet. Okay. So that's where it went. I was looking for it. I was like, my paintbrush, it's been stolen. Would you like it back? No. I made like seven more. Oh my, my goodness. I have the option to paint you? No, please! This war paint may look terrible, but it took me like f an hour. Also, my game is dying. What is happening right now? Oh my god, stop that. So are we going to go on a campaign of Rockefeller Revenge this session? Uh, I was under the impression. So for, those of you that, so for those of you that tuned into our last session, let me pull up my sword. So we went. Hold on. Uh -oh. here, here we go. I need some eyeglass for this presentation. So over here is where that awful experience was. What where the we hell? all died last time. Right there. Uh, please hold. My D key isn't working. It's not. <laughs> pop that sucker off, and we'll pop him back in. Hey! All I had to do was forcefully remove it, and that works. Okay. watching the stream and my it suddenly dips to two frames per second simply because I happen to look off towards the ocean. Now let's Freaking. look and inspect what's going on with the with the hatchery com 
compound. Did you purposely trap this parasaur in here, or did that just happen? Lovely day in the neighborhood. Where, where is everybody? Uh, I'm currently trying to figure out how the regions section works. Everybody. All right, I'll figure that out later. while we're waiting to get started on our adventure, I'll just go explore that far side by the island for a bit. That's an option. It helps if my mic is on. <laughs> Probably does, yeah. Hello, Ace. Hello. So in case you didn't get the explanation, uh, the parrot just kind of spawned in there on his own. Hmm. So... So now he's just a prisoner of his own making. Pretty much. There's drama going on down here. Uh, yes, I am the cause of it. Oh, no, there... Are you a raptor that's attacking a couple of paras over here? Oh, no. Never mind. Ah, I'm being attacked by dragonflies. Oh, you can't land up there. Oh, that's lame. refuses to land up there. Let me perch, damn it. What are you trying to perch on? The, the seagull refuses to perch on anything that isn't a foundation. Mm. I guess it makes sense. Him and his stupid webbed feet. Oh, hello, Mr. Brontosaur. And a bright red Diplodocus. That's interesting. Raptor attacked me while I was trying to adjust the settings in OBS. What a jerk. <laughs> what a stream OBS. sniper. There he is. Fluffums eat. Excellent. Fluffums deploy. There's a galley. Yeah. Galleys are fun.
get those settings maintained adequate for any reason. Seriously, I'm missing a carrot. You are? Yeah, I'm missing the bright red para. Uh, I just flew by a bright red para. There should be one just standing in the hatchery. What was its name? The tech one is there, but not the other one. Did it have a name? Uh, yes, but I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I'm looking in the tribe log. The tribe log says a parasaur named Rogue died. Like a week yeah, ago. That sounds correct. So the yeah. issue is, is that saying that any of our animals is named after a pun doesn't really narrow it down to one. <laughs> it doesn't. Unfortunately, you are correct. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Reminds me of the time I worked at Home Shh, Depot. Now, shh, now we'll never be sponsored by them. If we get a sponsorship from Home Depot, I have a lot of questions on what we've done right. Probably designed a really nice compound. <laughs> There's always set building. This is true. Yes, for our Across the Veil vale show, which you guys should also tune into. Let me restart it. I don't care. I know I accidentally looked at the ocean. Rip frame rate. I wish I could figure out what setting that was. The mean pickies are over here being stuff. mean. So then, what was the plan for today? Were we going after bats, or what were we planning on? I thought that was the plan. Are we prepared to go after bats? Um, yes. Yes, we are. Do we have shotguns made? Uh, I remade all the shotguns. We have three RPGs and 51 RPG shots. Okay. Um, I can head 51 back. 51 each or 51 total? 51 total. I could probably make more, but let me double check on that. I'll start heading back so we can get started on our adventure then. I am currently collecting berries so that we can have, uh, yes. Dies. Oh, our soup is also good. How long will that take, Tim? Um, probably not long. I probably honestly have enough to do it now. I'm just entertaining myself. Okay. Is a T-Rex bullying a saber-toothed cat? Good. Mean. I gotta make more polymer. Oh, he's chasing me. Oh, no. <laughs> I fly away. Oh, no. He's chasing me. Oh, no. Dude, I'm flying away from you. Oh, hello, Mr. Spinosaurus. How are you doing today? Oh, also, admittedly, not very if well. anyone happens... Hmm? Oh, is that the same spin pretty Spinosaurus? Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is he getting murdered? No. He just, uh... I went down there to see how he was doing, and he yelled at, at me. And threatened ah. to kill me, so taking that as that he's having a very bad day. I don't know. That seems pretty on par with the average Spinosaurus day. Yeah. Re. They tend to scream At least a lot. For these ones. Yeah, the Arc Spinos don't seem to have a good time, or they really do. Mm. Also, 
So if anybody is bored, would they mind terribly taking the Dodigerous and clearing these rocks that I have exposed using the Brontosauruses? Uh. Run back and beat up. Once I queue up a bunch of rockets, I can probably come help with that. They take a lot of time. Well, more rockets. Oh, that's a lie. We have 52. 51 of them are normal. One of them's a guided RPG. It tracks. Yeah. That might be interesting. It's very, very fun. I have tested that once before. dying from cold because I accidentally forgot that I, that was a thing. So apparently while I wasn't paying attention, Deuce killed four Therizinosaurs. <laughs> what? He has four Therizinosaur claws in his inventory and like 40 arrows. Wow. All right, go deuce. Right? Excuse me, Raptor, you're swimming. You're having a spa day. They got to get their soak on. All right, I have come to the conclusion that as fun as it is... Oh, wait, no, now it works. Hmm. On occasion, the second monitor makes my frame rate drop to, like, 20. It's wonderful. My poor computer. I think my card doesn't like having multiple monitors and a game recording at the same time. That's a distinct possibility. Oh, you poor little Dilophosaur. They get bullied hard. No, I landed to regain some stamina, and he thought, oh, look, a free lunch. He was mistaken. What a foolish fool. On the bright side. I, I have uh, received more hide to add to our dwindling supplies thereof. Oh, yes. Fantastic. It's such a rare resource. You have no idea. The possibilities. Okay, we're up to 64 rockets. And we're almost at a cementing paste in crystal now. But we have 64 rockets. And I figure you can split the rockets between you two because um, I don't think we need three rocket launchers. We probably need someone running interference so they don't get close. I mean, and uh, I volunteer. Uh, if we did, that would cut our ammo into 64 divided by 3. Uh, well, I guess we could. 
Oh, no, that's plenty of ammo. Yeah, I was like, wait, no, you can't divide that by three. No, you can. Uh, yeah. No, we could probably actually take three. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. currently making fuel fast chowder. Chowder. I know what I'm going to do for the next 20 minutes then. Admittedly, I also didn't check whether or not we had any left over. Blink. <laughs> I looked earlier, we do have plenty of that, um medical brew left. We probably, oh, yeah, no, we have, like, several hundred medical brew. We probably ended up losing quite a bit of it because we took it all into the cave and lost it, didn't we? Yeah. I was not able to recover most of it, or any of it, actually. I, ha I died with, like, a hundred on me. Which is a shame, but we could always make more. Well, maybe it's on the cave we could go reclaim it. Nah, it despawns after an hour. Thanks for crushing my hopes and dreams. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not hard to replace since we have br brontosauruses, but... Mm -hmm. no. Although, yeah, maybe, maybe not take a hundred, because... Would we realistically use a hundred? Assuming we have rockets and rifles now, probably not. Oh, my recording's getting all choppy again. Why? All right, well, the monitor's got to go. I wonder how long... <sighs> long it's going to take me to just straight up, like... Memorize these recipes. It's a good question. I've tried and I keep forgetting. I'm like, ah, oh, the potatoes and carrots hit the same thing, right? No, they're different. Well, at least the the damn in-game name, because apparently carrots are rock carrot or whatever. Yeah. And then a potato is a savo root. Whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, they have like different sense. names for in game vegetables. That's just silly. It 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 kinda is, but oh well. Oh. Oh. No, I just realized something. I never noticed that before. Apparently, Discord has a screen share function. It does? Yeah. Right under the voice connected bar. Huh. That's new. I never noticed that before. Interesting. Very interesting.
Uh oh. Ah, uh, can you guys hear me? Oh no. I lost audio. God dang it. Give me a moment. That's wonderful. God dang it. <gasps> we could make fun of his skills at painting you Tyrannises. <laughs> my audio's back. That's hey, great. my skills are bad. I know oh. they are. <laughs> yes. Look upon this Uteranus that appears to have been painted by the Lost Boys from the movie Hook. Hey, I'll have you know I have better crayon skills than they ever will. That's fair because they probably didn't have crayons on ne on Neverland. Exactly. I have the advantage here. Take that, <laughs> Lost Boys. What? I thought you said that that rifle was not useful. Oh, the fabricated sniper rifle? Oh, okay. uh, If you can land headshots, it you can essentially do what you can with a long neck rifle, but you have eight shots instead of one. I'm going to test exactly how well it works in the cave. Because to my understanding, I should be able... It is semi-auto, so I can kind of spam... No, you can't spam it. Okay. Whoa. So it's not semi? Is it bolt action or something? It is. I'm trying to test the rate of fire. Where's something I don't care about? There we go. Dodos. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have a bunch of dodos. Wait, no, I can just shoot into the lake. It'll be fine. Okay. It's, I love hearing the distant gunshots as you're trying to ex do this experiment. It's like, oh, oh, I can just shoot into the leg. This will be fine. Bam! 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 So was your testing successful? I'm concerned that he didn't answer that question. What was that? Right. Was your testing successful? Probably. Yeah, no, this thing in... If I can time my shots correctly, it'll work. I wonder if it'll be selective with its, whether its shots hit or not, just like the shotgun was last session. Ah, uh, if that's the case, then I have a rocket launcher, just in case. What's the damage like? Let's see. Yeah, what's your damage, man? Alright, I phased through a Dilophosaur. That's great. Alright, that's respectable. 346 if I can land a headshot. However, the weapon durability is about at half now. That's annoying. After only like 10 or 12 shots? It was at a quarter before I started testing it. Now it's at half. Yeah. Hmm. If I bring it, it'll probably break, and that's a bunch of wasted waste. Alright, well, into the box with you. Oh, I did have, uh, luck breeding more Baryonyx. We now have six. Oh, goodness. They were busy. They were. Now the question becomes, do we want to take the Baryonyxes in at all? Um... Now that's a good question, because maybe two to three of them have just above a thousand health. But oh, I was thinking about lot. how they kept jumping into lava every time you dismounted. Yeah. Well, if we turn them on passive, and we only... Because with Marianas, you can shoot from the saddle. 
So if we turn them on passive, even if we do jump off of them, they won't run into the lava. And if things do get close, we just bite them with the Baryonyx, because friendly fire is on, and I'd rather not blow up my mount. With me on it, I'd like to add. Spoil sport. I mean, the RPG does 1500 damage, if you think you can take it. I know I can. Mm -hmm. What is my health at? Then the other question becomes I you could actually them. Because that is going to be a bit yeah, of a that's thing. Good. I mean, if we build a ramp, we probably could. We can just load them onto the back of it. We could probably that's do a lot that of off. effort. We could probably actually just do that off the mountainside. We live on one. So just park under the mountainside and then just kind of jump the Baryonyxes off onto the... Yeah, they can jump. That would work. It, that sounds like it would be entertaining. Let me make sure they all have saddles. At least the I have crafted thing. many shock. Oh, I need two more. We also have like 230 shotgun shells. I got a little busy. Phrasing? Making things. Uh, making ammo. Oh. Tyler, are, are you really going to talk about phrasing with the message in chat earlier? You and your fucking pecans. <laughs> okay, I lied. We have 298 shotgun shells. I made um, an additional, like, 80 or 90 just now. Oh, even better. All right. So now we each have a stack of 100 shotgun shells we can carry with us. Wonderful. All right. This one, my breeder. Where for art thou, Fluffums? Ah. Oh, that guy is my breeder, isn't he? Alright, we're not doing I can slip through that little window. He's a good little otter. You might be perfectly okay to take a hundred medical brew. <laughs> There's a raptor attacking the fence. Friend. Ooh, it's a tech raptor. Where? Attacking the fence outside. I'm gonna go uh, put it to sleep. <laughs> I have trank arrows. Why is it doing that? Because it wants to go to sleep. Good night, sweet. Why do tranquilizers work on robots? I don't know. Why are there robots? 
The robots can lay eggs. They lay it robo kind of makes... eggs. Yeah, that kind of makes sense in a way that like they make like little. It's another silver and red tech raptor. Ooh boy. Yay. The question is, is this one the opposite gender of the ones we currently have? It's another female. Is female? I think we have female tech raptors. Yeah, the two that are is, out is are cave female. fodder. Cave fodder is a um Dilo. Or do you mean do you mean the one that's named cave fodder or do you mean the one that <laughs> No, it just means that we can just means that we can uh use her as cave fodder when we go spelunking. Mm. Aggressive spelunking. This is true. I mean it's an option. What is this awful soup in this trough? Uh that's animal soup. Don't eat it. Ugh. You can if you want to, but you know what it looks like. It looks like, like it's got it looks like it's got like old cans and stuff in it. It's gross. It might actually just be garbage. I'm throwing that tech raptor in the uh, Triceratops pen. Haha, -ha, look at me, I'm a Scorpio. So how's it going, Purple Gimli? Okay. What? How's it? How's it going? You just called me Purple Gimli? Yeah. Why? I think I'm missing the reference here. Wait, hold on. I think I know what you're talking about. I think my game just crashed. Or my computer might have just crashed. Uh-oh. Oh, god damn it, Windows 10. An army yeah, of three. That's all we need, right? Probably. So does this mean that we also need, like, cheapo leather armor and to drop off all of our equipment again? It's probably not a bad idea. <sighs> okay. Let me go see if I can acquire some disposable armor then. I'm afraid I missed the Purple Gimli conversation, and I think my joke's going to fall flat, but I have a Purple Gimli. What? I found, like, you know those weird Iguanodon dinos? Mm, no. There's one outside who may or may not just oh. be straight up purple. I, I was going to bring Economy Sedan into the conversation, and then my game crashed. Well, it didn't kind crash, it was froze. Economy sedan, go! Ah! Away! Hi ho, purple! Away! My D key stopped working again. Must I destroy you every time? Is it that the key binding's messing up, or is the actual D key not the working? Like if you try to type the letter being, D. The physical key itself is malfunctioning. There it goes. Ah, is not good. Now it works again. It's being lame. I think I just need a new keyboard again. It's getting annoying. These RGB keyboards seem to keep exploding. I'm just gonna get a normal ass keyboard next time. My Corsair mouse can scream as its non RGB counterparts. Yeah, I'm concerned because I look between all the keys on my keyboard and there's just this field of cat hair underneath all the keycaps. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Um, you... 
you technically can. You just have to pop all the keys off, and I've done it before. It takes, like, literally two hours to sit there and scrub all the keys. Well, it's just a, I probably just need, like, an air, an air can or something, because if I actually blow on it, a lot of the hair sort of comes out. Uh, yeah, compressed air will, is, oh man, it's wonderful. What happens if you use one of those to blow up a balloon? I have never tried because, well, if you blow them for too long, they start blowing straight CO2, and I don't want to find out what happens. Well, I don't want to shatter a balloon. I'm kind of curious what, what, how quickly it would be able to inflate a balloon, though, if you used one of those, one of those air can things. Now the question is, because it's compressed in a coal, in like the CO2 gas, would it be heavier than air? Probably. So it'd be colder than the ambient temperature. Interesting. So I feel like what I'm hearing is that next time we see each other, we need to meet up with an air can and balloons and see how this goes. I'll bring the shield. Okay. I could bring one of my cap shields and save you the trouble. That works. <laughs> Oh, also, I forgot. I was going to go into my spiel about how the light switches worked. Uh, maybe later? Yeah, that works. Okay. I can flip the switch. It's so satisfying. Just because I am finished uh, playing with Sue. Oh. oh, that works. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go claim a locker upstairs. So we are taking shotguns. I guess I need... I guess I need all this stuff except for my other fancy armors. Yeah, why am I? Okay. Crystal. Okay. Not what I meant to do. Why do we never have leather boots? What the hell? I guess I'll just make some. you looking at? I don't know. What are you looking at? Nothing. Good. Excellent. Get some steak in. And then I need to eat my steak. Switch out weapons, but I'm not gonna cry if I lose. Ram shako crossbow, deploy. I'm not gonna need a pistol. Well, I guess I'm ready to go. Sans various soups and chowders that I'm supposed to take with me. So, the breakdown of soups and chowders we are taking with us on this lovely adventure include 100 Medical Brew, 
or more, depending on what you choose to take. There is like six stacks of them. 27 Kalen Sue, which is the green one. 36 Lazarus Chowder, which is the white one. Excellent. And if you choose to take Shadow Stick Saute, seven. What's for dessert? Bat. Ah. You want a rock carrot? <laughs> we got carrots. So half the, half the number of Kayla in soup and half the number of Lazarus Chowder that's in this locker? Yes. Okay. So you've already claimed yours? Yes. I also just okay. remembered we I still have bug repellent. Not a lot of it though. Yeah. Oh god. Damn it. Don't you just love it when you want to split something into a stack, but you split the whole stack into individuals? Uh, I have not done that yet. It's miserable. Speaking from experience here. So it's, we're taking Lazarus Chowder, Kelly and Soup, and then it was the steak if we choose? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right stuff. Just because it says it helps steady your aim. Whatever that means. Hey, less weapon sway. I'll take it. This is the sway. Is. Also, Tyler, I have a thing what? for you. What take, thing? Take the bug repellent. It is behind you. Thank. Also, Ace, I have bug repellent for you as well. Cool. There you go. How it long says, does that last? It's ten minutes, but it says uh, it's going to make us invisible to bugs, bats, and spiders. Ooh. So we can just sneak up and just kill them it in their sleep, basically? It literally looks like they just, they don't, just don't attack them or get too close and they'll ignore you. That's what the description says. So as long as we're wearing that, they won't aggro so long as we don't shoot at them first. That sounds nice. I don't know if this applies to our mounts or not. Speaking of mounts, the Baryonyx are saddled and ready. Have we figured out how to take them? Uh, not yet. But I can get the Quetz in position and we can try throwing them off onto his, uh, thing. Platform. I guess that'll be fine. So, when you say they're in position, what do you mean? Oh, um... They, uh, they're the three outside the pen. Oh, assuming I don't get stuck in a building. Oh. Well, there's one. That worked very well, actually.
Okay, what is the silliness that's going on here? Uh, loading baryonyx. That's just, that is an interesting thing. I can't back up, but I can drive headfirst at the cliff. Go down? Uh, down is difficult. Two are loaded. Hey. Honestly, it may be easier to just pick up the third. Yeah, that I can do. That is many berries, okay. I love, okay. that, I love that the quest is in the game just so you can load stuff onto its back. That's so not supposed to be how it works. Actually, I think that's exactly how it's supposed to work. Oh, that makes it even better. I am ready to go. Cool. Oh. You know what? Let me grab... I lied. You liar! Why would you lie to me? I desire lights. Ooh, that'd be a good idea. Somebody else grab the RPGs. I have my RPG and I'm ready. I have ammo as well. I have some RPGs. Okay, I got my shotgun, so I'm good with that. Oh, look, it's a random red pterodon that's just landed here. Slightly disappointed I can't put a laser sight on my crossbow. Okay, bye, Paragon. Yep. Toodle-doo. And you, you stay out, pal. Die bomb. The RG suplex from the left hand corner. Oh, watch out, watch out. Punch. Are we ready? Wait, why is he coming? I'm ready. Why is he coming back? He wants the food drop. Shoo. Actually, it's kind of a pretty pattern on him. Mm hmm. Off we go. Off we go. Okay, so we're going to the uh, crazy one that we all died at last time. Yes. That was the one over at the very far corner of the map, right? Yes. Uh, it's the one that's on the peninsula thing. Okay. Coordinates are roughly, it looks like, 80... F I want to say 84 75, by 70. 85 something. Okay, yeah, that one. Okay. Barry Onyxes look like they're just having the time of their life. <laughs> I can't tell if they're excited or if they're screaming. Oh, oh, look at this. This is amazing. I didn't think I'd ever be able to fly like this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah, look at that. Look, they all look like ants down there. It's so great. Ah. I'm a semi-aquatic reptile. Oh, God. Ah, this is amazing. 
<laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. I eat fish at a swamp. Ah. How are you doing down there in the claws, Barry the Onyx? Oh, I'm doing great. Oh, look, there's a swamp. That's where we should go eat tonight. <laughs> it'll be it'll be exactly like the scene at the end of the first Avengers movie where they're all eating shawarma. Yeah, it's like all the very Onyxes are just hanging around eating some titanobo that they just killed it reminds me have you guys ever seen that video of like that massive crocodile just eating like one of those seven foot subway sandwiches no oh my god it's I so really funny want to know, though. it's so funny <laughs> he's like this massive oh. crocodile and they just feed him this f massive turkey sa it's so funny yes he got to eat fresh he did <laughs> I hope it's still on YouTube. Sometimes they take videos down because reasons. So if it was a seven foot long sub, is that five dollars per foot? Possibly. I, I think it was one of those like party subs you get. Like the really long ones. I don't think seven feet is the correct term. Or length. <laughs> we got one of those one time. Um, we got... It was going to one of the groundbreakings of a uh, house that my dad designed. And we ended up just getting like this ten foot long sandwich from Cousin Subs and it was it was quite glorious. That sounds very entertaining. Yeah, that would be kinda of fun to do next time we have a big get together is just get one of those gigantical subs like that. Mm, that would be true. No, I want sandwiches. Me too. <sighs> My Jimmy Jones is open. And meanwhile, the Baryonyxes are there, they're like, Ah, oh, I want some fish! <laughs> Don't worry, we can get them hey, a, a fish sandwich. sandwich is a thing. They can have all the tuna sandwiches they can eat, oh, look, I'm not gonna eat that. There's the Titanosaur over there. Silhouetted against the water. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm? Hmm? I can all land anyways. You can hear sirens off in the distance. Oh, that's usually not a good thing. That's fine. Um. Where did that um, Baryonyx go? Oh, he's under me now. Okay. He's he's uh, underneath you. So I thought he phased through the ground and he was gone forever. It's really like, oh god damn it! It's not the first time it's happened, but come on. Also, real quick, I want to run over and grab this drop. It's on the way. Just so the that blue one. It is quite literally on the way. I'm heading that way anyways. Yeah. Oop, that's the first side. That was the most unenthused yay I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Anything good? Um, is it a sandwich? A primitive lance? No. You know the lances are like I've never used them, but you only use them on saddleback, which makes sense because it's a lance. But also, when will I be oh, would that be charging? useful for the spelunking expedition that we're on? Well, I mean, this is only a blueprint for one. Oh. But we can take it anyway. For the price of free, and it's on the way, might as well. Hmm. Fluffums looks really judgy. He's a bird. Birds are very judgy. Yeah. <laughs> they are the superior dinosaur. They are. So is the green drop also on our way? Yeah, I'm hit it's a straight it's a straight shot that way. Cool. So there's a green drop, a white or there's two green drops and a white drop along the way then? Uh the white drops tend to be pretty useless. Okay. Unless you like collecting like sky dropped hide. Oh, well, we like... do have a distinct lack of hide in our resources, so that might be worth it. We really do. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a pretty tech parasaur next to it. 
Hey. Hey, we can kidnap him too. I mean, uh, bar tame him. It's kind of the same thing. It is. Oh, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of stone irrigation pipe and stuff. Oh. Ooh. There's That's a uh, useful. compost bin. Hey, free compost bin. I like so do they things. want a pretty tech parasaur? I'm not sure we how we so transport it. Unless we want to do the same we hill technique we just did. Can an RG move a parasaur? Well, the uh, yeah, they can. Oh, I did not know that. We kidnapped them before, I think. This is the wrong parasaur. I've kidnapped the wrong parasaur. Where did you guys go? Oh, I see you now down there. Hey, this is where I used to find metal in my single-player world, because I didn't know how the game worked. There's also an explorer on I top of this mountain, if you guys haven't already gotten it. How do I remove the light from the saddle so it's not being wasted? Um, you... Uh, you have to remove the saddle. Uh, okay. I would do it when you land. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. Parasaur? It phased through me. Probably because it's not a tamed one. <laughs> it just it just sunk through. There's Toitles Beetleus. Oh, there's another Tapa Yara. We are also actually we're very close to the Pack Cave. I don't remember pack what the cave, cave is called, but it has the artifact of the pack, and I don't know if we have that one already. Uh, I thought we already did that cave. Because it sounded familiar, but I added it to my map anyways. I don't know if we hit it or not, but it does sound familiar. Because I think that was, uh... I think this is the swamp cave, actually. Or at least the one we keep calling the swamp cave. Like, that was like the first one that we did, wasn't it? Yeah, this, mm -hmm. this, that sounds right. Okay, we actually have done that one. Got it. Because I think we've determined there's only two land-based caves that we haven't done. Which is the, uh, the ice cave and the lava cave. Which, as I found out, apparently there's two ice caves. The one I keep calling ice cave is like the northwest cave. And then there's actually something mm -hmm. called the Snow Cave, which I didn't know existed. Do we do uh, one of them? I... I feel like we went into one cave that was very icy. We went into one of them, but not far enough to get the artifact. Because oh, okay. basically we went into it and then all started dying and quickly retreated. Mm. From what I remember. That's... I think... yeah, that sounds about right. That does sound like an early spelunking expedition on our part. It's okay, we have RPGs, it's all fine. It also doesn't help that all these bats have like a 1500 health, like, minimum. Mm -hmm. So how like do I unequip the light? So you have to remove the saddle from the RG. And then it should give you the option of something along the lines of, like, remove costume? Yeah, it's remove skin. Yeah. Okay. That's odd that it's considered a cost. I will be or right skin, back. But okay. I'm gonna go down and see if there's anything that I can harass down here. Okay. Oh, there's a lot for me to harass. Hello, Mr. Pachycephalosaurus. Hello, Mr. Doing that, I'm also going to step away for a second. Okay. Because I think I'm fairly safe here. Okay. I'll apply a cap for you guys then.
It really is quite a nice, peaceful game. Mm -hmm. So what say you viewers? What do you think of this lovely Viesto while I'm left here all alone trying to fly cat for my fellow tribe mates? Anybody there? I appear to have gained a friend. Yes, you did. And James has gained a friend as well. I'm back. Ah, good. Is it a friendly friend? Um, yes. I miss anything fun? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I was informed the there were tamales, and I, I couldn't resist. No, that's fair. Tamales are... Nope. I've been being, like, mildly depressed to realize I'm out of beanie weenies. Mm. <laughs> oh. Damn it. And I've been debating on if I have the motivation to actually, like, make this, the real bratwurst, or if I'm just going to eat something else. <laughs> I mean, hey, bratwurst is always good. Yeah, but it's a lot of effort. It, it is. It kind of is, yeah. It's worth it, so but good. not at this time of night. Oh, look, there's bowling going on down here at the beach. Let's go check it out. Right? What? This is, like, quite the entertaining time for everyone involved. Except for maybe that para. Yeah, that poor Iguanodon that's being bullied by the four Dilophosaur. But he got away, which is good. Mm -hmm. Here, let's go. Let's go, like let's go and rescue our Iguanodon friend. Wait, he's going back to here. Come here, friend. I will go and deliver you someplace where the Dilophosaurus will not attack you anymore. <laughs> Am I missing the battle royale? I stole an egg. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I thought it was a Dilo egg, and then it wasn't, and then everyone was upset -y. That is unfortunate. Conveniently, you what do kind have of a egg? rocket launcher. Uh, it appears to be a Pachycephalosaurus okay. egg. Do you think that I should go drop the squad on here next to the Spino? Uh, sure. He seems to be having a fun time running in circles. Yeah. I He's didn't know chasing that... a tiny little... Here, I didn't know here's your new best friend. Fast food. I feel really terrible that I just did that. It's a very interesting Spinosaurus. He's like great green. And he looks like he's just super great. There's that. Oh, there's a oh, Truodon that's attacking him, and you can't actually get to it. Ah, okay. 
I would help, but... Yeah. He's being harassed by Demetrodon and a Truodon. And now the Iguanodon's going over there and attacking him, too. Nice. Okay, well, at least he was able to take care of them. This is quite the epic battle royale going on here. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, good luck to you, Mr. Oh, Spinosaur. I know. Where are you? This is probably a bad idea. It, like, won't tell me what level he is. And I don't have a spyglass on me. Oh, of what? A Spino. Uh, level six female. Ah, okay. Into the sunlight we go. I can't see a goddamn thing. It's like trying to drive to, um, Glendale. Oh. Oh, God. At 4 p.m. Your retinas will be destroyed, but you'll get there eventually. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of brontosauruses. Where did you guys did go? Did somebody exactly? say dinner? Uh, we're like at oh, I'm the right behind you. Okay. river entrance. Also, there's an alpha raptor down there. Murder. Oh, that is a lot of brontosaurus. What the heck? Maybe they're having a little convention. Brontocon. Brontocon. Social distancing people. I'm scared nope. how in in sync that was. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. it's just the start Remember of the Backstreet band. Boys. <laughs> it's the start of my musical career. All right, I kind of want to kill that Alpha Raptor. We had the armament to do so. Can you repel firepower of this magnitude? He can evade it. We have a slight problem. He's under me. Hmm. And he's over there attacking a salmon or something. It's oh, a baryonyx. No. I dropped oh. our baryonyx, oh, but I demounted it. That's... No, he's mine. My friend. Alright, well, they're getting engaged. Here we go. Okay. Good for them. Yes, congratulations. Well, I wasn't expecting to get engaged in it. Oh, God. This is Chopper Tyler with your eye in the sky. There's a lovely battle going on below us. Uh, it looks I like thought I could handle it, and then I forgot I'm wearing hide armor, and I almost died. <laughs> I also almost Anything good off uh, Apprentice Crossbow. That's okay. And a ramshackle hide helmet. Better than the one I'm wearing. Oh, and berries. We already have berry onyxes, though. I know, right? Ooh, wow, well, this guy got some serious levels in. Okay. I mean, yeah, killing an Alpha Raptor gives you quite a few levels. It does. So, slight problem. I'm not sure how we're gonna, un like, reload them. Well, actually, no, there's a I mean, right there. we are... We are also close enough that... Well, I guess we still have to get down the hill, though, huh? I guess we can't pick them up with the RGs and airdrop them, can we? Nope. It is the unfortunate part about the very onuses. Uh, 
Who are we attacking? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can hit that. Oh, ants. Uh... What about now? Can you come over here where it's more of a sheer cliff? No! Oh no! Bye. You have a friend down there. Never mind. Not you anymore. Him. <laughs> I took care of the ants for you know. Just need to watch out for the ankles. That didn't work. Also, I'm gonna let you pick that one up in the claws, because that's the one that's dying. Oh, okay. And I don't want to jump off a cliff again. That is understandable. It's a galley. Galley! Cool. That was good. Okay. The two Baryonises are loaded. Fantastic, thank you. Come with us, friend. What? You're trying no. to kidnap a galley. No. Come, come with us, friend. Can you not pick up galleys with a Archie? They might be too big. You should big. be able to. Because they're roughly the same size as the Baryonyx, and it refuses to pick that up. Yeah. There it is. What are you doing to that poor picky thing? Feeding it to my bird. Oh. Wouldn't it be easier to just kill it with the bird? Uh, you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it it really would have been. <laughs> I was expecting the bird to get involved in the fight. And then it just didn't. Greetings, Bronto friend. The Comic Con for you is back that way. <laughs> Bronto Con 2020. You know, probably the Brontosauruses are fully capable of staying six feet apart from each other. Yeah. They really would be. Just because they're so huge to start with. But also, would like six feet be enough for them? Good I question. Don't know. Also, I think the cave might actually be this way. Uh, the drop cave over was here, though. quite literally ah. over the hill from where we were. I don't know where you guys went, though. Uh, it appears we are chasing a blue drop. That has not rendered for me. I don't see a blue drop. I'll just, uh, chill at the cave entrance, then. Ah, there it is. It has a primitive sword blueprint and a smithy structure blueprint. So, worthless. <laughs> Where's the stupid cave? If I had so flares, I'd shoot them. I don't know if you can see me or not. Well, I'm floating above the cave if you guys can see me. Uh, no. But basically, follow the beach away from all the mountains and everything. To the south? Y yes. Further down I the peninsula.
go double check something. I gave them steak, but they don't seem to be eating it. They might only eat fish again, which is dumb. Yeah, I think very honestly only eat fish. What should we put stats into on these guys? Uh, health. Do we need to go fishing? Uh, I'm grabbing enough fish for us. These guys have a very, very high fish gather rate. Okay. Go away, dolphins. Are we just riding? Sorry, I'm being attacked by dolphins. They want my fish. I'm not sharing. <coughs> Okay, got the fish. What should I set Fluffums to as far as their stance? Um, I usually go with neutral. Will that mean that they'll defend themselves if we if they get into a sticky situation up here? Yes. Okay. Although, admittedly, this beach should be pretty safe. Yeah, I don't think there are actually any predators down in this area. So are we riding the berries in, or are we having them follow us? Uh, I would ride them in. Okay. Because you can shoot from their saddles. Now, these guys don't have the most health in the world. They only have, like, about a thousand. But it should be enough to get us by. Especially if we're shelling, you know, bats with rockets. They're so in the way. That wasn't Sorry. my intention to stop. Not, not you. Um, the RG decided to land in the doorway. Also, I do have a saddle torch if someone wants it. I brought an extra. Fortunately, I seem to recall this cave being fairly well lit. This is true. That's yes, all the secret. lava throws off a lot of a lot of light. Oh I yeah. Don't... Speaking I don't of which, I guess we should probably uh, eat our soup, shouldn't we? That seagull got in here, but it's soup time. Collective bug spray noises. they have like a howl. Mm -hmm. Oh goody bats. Hi guys, remember me. Revenge is a dish best served with RPGs. It is. <laughs> I think this is a safe distance. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Yeah. I am a fan of this weapon system. This is the way to do caves. It really is. That was a oh, that was a scorpion. Okay. There's some off to our right and some off to our left. Yes. Well the scorpions want them. That is that's just beautiful. This is dangerous amounts of fun. Oh, there's actually a loot drop down here this time. Hey! Uh, there are quite a few of them up ahead, so I don't think one rocket's gonna cut it. We can have synchronized rockets. We can! I'll aim for their back line if someone wants to hit the front and middle. Uh, I've got the middle. I'll go back line. You're pointed directly at me. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. Gotta go ahead and send it.
<laughs> oh, that's just beautiful. Oh, look, we're getting close. Oh my god, they're actually taking damage this time. <laughs> All right, well, that works. Yeah, this is the way to do the cave. Yeah, this, this is much better. Oh, oh no, there's no, oh no, oh god. Um, what's the whistle to turn all our tapes to passive? Uh, I don't know, because I set mine to something else. Can you go ahead and hit that before we demount to grab the crate, just in case? It won't affect it won't affect anyone that has a mount ah. that is currently mounted. Got it. Collect a whistle. Uh, apprentice Odicarus saddle. <laughs> I think we already have one of those, but we we'll have another, I guess. It is the uh, Ingram for it, and then there's a there's a there's a there's a generic hide helmet in there as well. Uh, okay. Slightly above average hide helmet. Sorry. Are there more bats? No? That's a plus. There are bats ahead on the other side of the little cave. Ah, I see them. Yes, game, I know I'm hot, thank you. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> uh, fair warning, after about eight shots, the rocket launcher's about to break. That makes sense. Let me go ahead and save mine. I've got maybe three shots until it breaks. However, there are. So, do you want me to take them on? Uh, sure. There's some to our right, though. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go after the ones that are straight ahead. Okay. Just because. We can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. I think one. I have the range to hit the ones that are over the lava. Yeah, probably. You'll have to give it a little bit of lead, but you probably can. Th that thing drops a lot. gonna hit him straight in the face. <laughs> nice. That's incredibly satisfying. Oh, it aggroed them. Oh. Wait, why are they coming after me? I like hot rabies. I have rabies. Okay, well I'm gonna go in this corner over here. Okay, I'll go in this corner over here and have rabies. I Michael retreated. Boys. Oh, that's right, we have those. Cure to rabies. Drink berry juice. Uh, sure. <laughs> I wonder if this is the way that you're supposed to get into that little artifact, is just jumping over this scary break here. Um. Probably. Possibly. I do remember that, um, we were very close to the actual cave artifact last time. Yeah. I'm debating whether I should try just running over there. It looks like there's just one Dilophosaur that I'd have to contend with. Um, I personally am going to wait until I don't have rabies. That's fair, I guess. Boring, but fair. Apparently you drink the Shadow Steak. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm... <laughs> Alright, I am rabies free. 
I have. I am also rabies free. Five seconds on my end. Oh, I should... and I'm also kind of dying, so I should probably drink some of this. Have some of that health drink. Okay, I am rabies juice. free. It's basically what it is. It does not seem unreasonable that cranberry juice could help a bit with stuff. Mm -hmm. Especially because it's basically just drugged cranberry juice, because the way that you make it is narcotic and tinto berries. Ah. Can jump a little bit. Oh my god, our dilos are still here. <laughs> are they? And our micro raptor, I yeah. forgot about him. Oh yeah. My bad. He's just chilling. <gasps> whoa, 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 you're here. And. S there is bats like just kind of hovering over the lava over there. I do see them. There's also some that are, like, dead ahead through here above the lava as well. Uh, I think these ones I might actually be able to hit. Sure. Because my rocket launcher is at half right now. Yeah, that works. Worst case scenario, I have a Are we ready? Though. I am, yes. God, I love AoE. Mm -hmm. The other one doesn't seem to care. I have a crossbow, friend. Please accept arrows as a legitimate form of damage. Where are you guys firing at? I'm not seeing anything down there. He's oh. like just barely rendered. Here he comes. The arrows have like a weird drop in this area. They do. So as long as we get a sprinting jump, the Baryonyx should be able to make it across this. Oh, 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 oh! I'm flying! That doesn't seem good. Oh no. Okay, so not a sprinting jump then. Um, I lost friction. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, don't sprint Straight and up, jump. Because we... <sighs> God damn it. So how do you want to do this? I don't know. Do you want to keep going? I, I at least want to get to the ruins that are over there. I'm okay with keeping on going if you want. I'm just debating on if I want to go on foot or not. It might be a little bit easier... So good to know, apparently Baryonyx don't have friction when they sprinting jump. That's probably why they ended up just flying off before or two. Uh, what the hell, game? Alright. Sure. Wanna go? No, no, no! Goodbye. Oh. Well then. That was a weird delay. It was, um... So in that case... So should I just... Should I just stay down here in the cave, or should I go back up to the surface? Well, it is 8.30, and we just lost two of our rocket launchers. And all the ammo. Yeah. And all the ammo. Uh, so, so should I just grab everybody and head back to the surface? Yeah, I think that might be the way to go. Okay. I tried, and then the game decided that friction wasn't allowed. That's just. Oh, that took me so long to prepare for. We we did get considerably further with less damage, though. We did. Yeah, it's definitely the way to do it. Well, that's all right. I feel incredibly secure with, like, four Dilophosaurus I and, um, the two berries coming after me. Yeah. I understand that well. Oh, 
Although I lost the Dilophosaurus eye somewhere. Why am I dehydrated? There. Yo, dum dums, come this way. Really weird seeing like my collection of replacement skins. Ugh. I heard about half of that. Oh, when you respawn, you lose all your war paint. Oh, god damn it! Oh, that took me so long. So, uh, how long do we want to stay on tonight? Well, I would mind calling it relatively soon, but because I okay. don't feel like we have enough time to actually build all of the stuff to come back and redo this, do we? I no. didn't know if we wanted to do a metal run, basically. I would be down for a metal run. That would give us some resources back. You guys are coming back though to help carry everyone, right? Yes. I am acquiring the weapons I normally have. Okay. That was interesting that the lava insta killed me though instead of slow cooking me like the other Baryonyx did. See, I had like several seconds because I was like swimming through the lava. I like got to a certain I had a part moment where it was of hope. so deep, I was like sinking in. Then I got up above it, and then I just died, like it was instant death. Hmm. You know, wait, can we build inside caves? Uh, I don't know. The next time we try a cave, I'm gonna bring some ramps. Well, we did um build that little outpost outside that other cave. Yeah, but that it was also, outside the cave. It also did let me, like, place sleeping bags in the cave. So you might be able to build them then. Which will be... The other thing, nice. too, is we might try uh, grappling hooks. Those could work, yeah. For what? Uh, grapple above that so that we can swing across Indiana Jones stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. No, don't fall off that edge. Okay, goodbye, Dilophosaur, whatever. <laughs> no. Where's the third one? It's somewhere back there. Uh... Well, we still have one rocket launcher. This is true. Oh, and I did go and get that other loot crate that we passed by, but there was nothing of particular interest in it. It's a have some ramshackle fur leggings and a primitive megaloceros set. So. I mean, the leggings are kind of cool. They yeah. are. I'm going to start making my way back to you, but I'm going to hit a couple loot crates on the way. Okay. Just because they're not that far out of the way, and I don't remember what level purple loot crates are at. So one of the Dilophosaurus made it out. Okay. Wait, the bats respawned up here. This could be interesting. So if they're set to follow me and I start getting attacked by bats, they'll come to my aid, won't they? If they're in neutral or attack your target, yes. Okay, let me 
check that then. Their stance is passive, so should I change it to neutral? Depends on whether or not you want them to move on their own. That's fair. Also, uh, the loot crate that I wanted to go grab had a lance in it. There's like hey. six bats between me and the entrance. Oh, wait, no, this, no, okay, I forgot. Okay, so that was the other side that we didn't go down, so never mind. I don't need to take on the six bats by myself. That's good. <laughs> Bonk on the, the crystal. It seems like it really hurt if you hit your head on these crystal shards. Right. <laughs> oh, I was reading. Apparently, the uh, crystal shards, the red ones give off heat, and the white ones give off coolness. Ah. Cool. I did not know that. Good to know. Where's, where did the other berry go? What baryonyx out here? Where's the other one? It hasn't died yet. No. Here he is. He got stuck on a corner. He got stuck in a wall. Oh my gosh. What the heck? We have made it safely out of the cave. Yay. Hallelujah. I am making my way there. Okay. Um, I might move the baryonyxes up on top of the, the cliff then so that we can load them. Okay. There's a way for me to get them up there easily. Uh, you should be able to pick them up and carry them in the I can just take them slightly a long way and go up to the top of the cliff via yeah, walking. Uh oh, my game's having some instability. It might crash. <gasps> it's a flamingo to go to. There we go. Mm, that sounds fun. Yeah, nice bright pink. I really wish you could up upgrade the speed on the RGs. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, I'm annoyed that you can upgrade the speed on pretty much everything else, but you can't upgrade that. I assume it's some sort of weird balancing thing. Yeah. Can you upgrade it on, like, very honestly? You yes, you can. How close are you guys to being back here? Mm, pretty like close. It's still being wonky, I'm afraid to leave if I'm, that might crash. I don't want to like fall to my death. That's valid. Okay. Uh, I am right before the last major river. Okay. Oh, now my game stopped being wonky. 
really. There's ruins here. Uh, it's all in Greek. <laughs> <laughs> This poor brontosaurus's leg has turned into a wiggly noodle. Mm -hmm. Oh no. That's kind never... of a pretty kind of a pretty bronto though. Like a really dark blue top and then like a gold stomach. I'm gonna go ahead and start, uh, restart my game and see if that fixes the weird issues I'm having. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't the Baryonyxes close their mouths? I, I wish I knew. I just imagine it smells like terrible fish all the time. Maybe they can't. It's a distinct... Oh. Don't need those ankles anymore, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna run back up to the top of the cliff and then... Okay. Try it again. Um, he was set to follow me for. Does he start automatically following you if you ride their saddle? No. What the heck? Uh, you might have hit it on one of the whistle attempts. Yeah, they weren't following me before. But, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll try for take number two. And he still has full health. Unfollow. Okay. What is... Okay, so I had follow... Ace, do you want me to pilot and then you can land them on there? Because I'm apparently too stupid to figure out how to make it so they don't follow me. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to land, though. Oops. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, my game has finally stabilized. Oh, Where did that oh, bury on its go? I said that, really? Why was the lid not on that? I wonder if that baryonyx just died. He appears to have wandered into the cave. Oh. Um. I have him. Okay. Maybe. There it goes. Oh, I see what's going on. Come here. What are we putting stats into on? on the quests? Um, I was putting... Hold on. I have to figure out where the Baryonyx went. So it looks like he followed you. Mm -hmm. When you were riding the other Baryonyx. But that was the Baryonyx. I didn't ride the other one. He was following the other Baryonyx. That's why he's wigging out. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, what stats are I putting into the Quetzes? Uh, I don't know. I put oh, stamina. points into stamina or weight. I have no idea how you got to the top of the hill. Um, you just go around the cliff and just go off to the left. 